Hi guys, I hope you're having a great week. Um, last week for the wedding minute, we asked what some topics were that you guys might wanna hear from us, um, wedding topics or things that we can discuss and kind of share tips on. Um, Kelly from Clover Hand Lettering Company reached out and pointed out that she didn't have a wedding party um, for her wedding a few years ago. And uh, she thought it'd be cool to kind of talk about the different pluses and um, the, the benefits of maybe choosing to have a non-wedding party. Um, I'm curious to hear how many of you had a big wedding party, maybe um, six or more, and then um, how many of you had a smaller or no wedding party where you maybe only had a few of your closest friends or family um, or maybe nobody at all. We've seen a little bit of everything. In doing research for this topic, um, I actually found that wedding party traditions um, have roots dating back to like ancient Rome times. Um, having a bunch of people in your wedding party dressed alike would actually protect the bride from those evil spirits or kidnappers. Um, so I just thought that was interesting and wanted to share that with you. Um, nowadays, I feel like it's definitely a little different. Um, you're having your wedding party there to get ready with you, um, stand by your side, enjoy the evening with you um, through the whole process. Um, I don't think it's really about protecting you from evil spirits anymore. I don't think. <laughs> Either way, there are plenty of reasons that um, nowadays you can kind of cut back on having that formal group of wedding party members. Um, maybe you just want to keep it more simple and very laid back. Um, now during COVID times, it might be a way to, um, you know, spread out, um, kind of lower that, that number of people that are, are immediately by you during the day. Maybe you don't want to put that pressure on your friends um, or family members to have that special role and have like duties throughout the whole planning process. Maybe you just want to keep it off of them and let them enjoy the day um, as a guest. If you are eloping, um, you might only have like 20 or 30 or less guests uh, as a whole, so maybe you don't really need um, specific people in your wedding party um, to stand next to you because it's it's going to be a small number of people anyway. There are some general benefits of not having a wedding party. Um, they can be kind of expensive and it can be kind of expensive for both the, the couple and for the actual wedding party. On both sides there's some extra costs that come along with that so that can be one way to kind of cut back on um, costs and save everybody a little bit in the budget. Area. Passing on a wedding party can also help avoid any extra drama um, that can come along with a bunch of people getting ready in the same room together um, and stuff like that throughout the day. So again, it kind of goes back to keeping things simple and laid back. Um, you don't have to worry about choosing a maid of honor um, or a best man uh, and who gets to stand in what order. Not having a wedding party is going to avoid any tensions or hurting anyone's feelings. You know, you're gonna have to narrow that list down somewhere. Another benefit is on the actual wedding day, um, having less people is gonna help keep things running smooth throughout the day. Uh, you have a less chance of like things running behind because you're waiting for certain people to get ready or um, kind of going through transportation as far as getting from one place to the next. You don't have to worry about where everyone is and how everyone is getting there. If you choose not to have a wedding party, there still is a way for you to honor your friends and your special family members um, as you know honored guests throughout the day. Um, you could still have them walk up the aisle at the beginning of the ceremony as part of the processional. You can ask them to kind of wear a color scheme, you know, buy their own outfits, but maybe match the color scheme of the wedding so that they kind of fit in. Um, you can still take some group pictures with them um, and involve them throughout the day like that. Again, there's no right or wrong way. Um, it really just depends who you are um, and how you envision your day going and, and who you picture being there with you. So I hope this helped inspire you a little bit um, in maybe deciding if you're more of a small wedding party or a big wedding party kind of person. So don't feel bad if you wanna go wedding party less. Um, there's obviously lots of great reasons why you would wanna do that. And like we always say, it's your day, so make it about you and it'll be perfect. Again, thank you, Kelly, for suggesting this topic. We, we loved um, hearing from you. And if you guys have any other ideas, any other um, tips or tricks that you're looking for as far as wedding planning goes, um, let us know.